Welcome back. The FBI arresting a former top aide to New York Governor Kathy Hochul this morning. Eamon Jevers joins us with the details. Eamon, involving a Chinese spy? Yeah, that's right, Kelly. The Department of Justice has charged the former deputy chief of staff to New York Governor Kathy Hochul and her husband with being unregistered agents of the Chinese Communist Party. FBI officers arrested Linda Sun, 41, and her husband, Chris Hu, 40, at their $3.5 million home on the North Shore of Long Island this morning. Federal officials said Sun acted as an undisclosed agent on behalf of the People's Republic of China and the Chinese Communist Party during her time as a New York State official, and her husband facilitated the transfer of millions of dollars in kickbacks for personal gain. The Department of Justice alleges that Sun wielded her position of influence to covertly promote Chinese government and Communist Party agendas. Among her alleged actions here are blocking access of Taiwanese representatives to New York state officials, changing New York state officers' messaging about Chinese issues, arranging meetings for visiting Chinese delegations, and in exchange, the government says Sun received economic benefits from representatives of the Chinese government, including facilitation of millions of dollars in transactions for the Chinese business operated by Hu, also tickets to events, and employments for, uh, employment for Sun's cousin back in China. Now, with the proceeds of all this, Sun and Hu allegedly bought real estate in New York, valued at more than $4 million, a $2.1 million condo in Hawaii, and a 2024 Ferrari. Sun became the governor's deputy chief of staff in 2021 and left that office for a job in the New York Labor Department in 2022. She was fired in 2023 over a misconduct complaint. And Governor Hochul's press secretary said in a statement today, this individual was hired by the executive chamber more than a decade ago. We terminated her employment in March of 2023 after discovering evidence of misconduct, immediately reported her actions to law enforcement and have assisted law enforcement throughout this process. Kelly, back wow. to you. Wow, so they reported her. So they, they, she must have done something to raise their suspicions then at that point. Yeah, and you know, those large purchases, the condo in Hawaii, the Ferrari, uh, you know, we don't know exactly what the husband's business here is, but for a state employee, large purchases like that will raise True. eyebrows. We don't know exactly what it was that uh, in the end uh, tripped this alleged scheme up, but we do know that the governor's office is saying that they did report it to authorities and they were working with authorities wow. to investigate. De and Deputy Chief of Staff uh, for a time as well. Wow. Eamon, thank you very much. Eamon Javers, earnings exchange after a break.